even yet started. This is a parking garage beneath the Point Pleasant condo in Ocean County. The surf, driven by a savage wind, washed sand into the garage, burying a Corvette and other expensive cars in the parking garage in the basement. Storm victims in Bayville, Long Island, have two new worries tonight. Looters descending on damaged homes and phony contractors soliciting repair work. Meanwhile, we're getting our first ground-level look at storm damage on Fire Island. Roger Stern reports. It was as if Mother Nature decided to narrow Fire Island by one row of houses. Imagine a sheet cake with one layer just sliced off. Well, that's what happened along parts of Fire Island's south shore, particularly in the area of Fair Harbor, where the ocean washed away dunes, destroying some houses, leaving many more exposed. Estimates vary, but anywhere from 20 to 35 houses are gone. Most vacation homes, though at least one, are full-time residents. But with dunes washed away, many more houses may still fall into the sea, perhaps a hundred according to one estimate, as workers do their best to shore up what's left. As a builder, can you save them? Uh, best we can do is try. You're dealing with Mother Nature, and we've always said in Fire Island, uh, you're building in the face of Mother Nature, and at some point, you're going to have to accept those responsibilities. This is that point. The damage was pretty well confined to the ocean front. The owners of houses set back from the sea are the lucky ones. You must feel pretty lucky that this one's okay. Very lucky, and I never thought I'd witness that kind of devastation in my lifetime. That's up at the beach right now. With local crews shutting down exposed wires, Fire Island is off limits to all but year-round residents. We had to come in with a police escort. Most property owners have yet to see the damage. And we don't know when they will. For four days now, Suffolk County has not let these Fire Island ferry boats sail out. And we don't know when they will reopen the island to the public. Roger Stern, News 4, Bayshore. The storm could be the most costly in Long Island history, topping Hurricane Gloria. With... It was surrealistic. It was just completely...